A battle over gaming in southern Oregon, Oregon could have statewide implications for gambling and tribes. And in this case, if gaming machines aren't allowed at Oregon's only remaining horse track, jobs will be lost. Tim Gordon has been looking into this for us and joins us live now in the newsroom. Hey, Tim. Hi there. Yeah, you mentioned the jobs. We're talking about 200 jobs on the line in a part of the state where there are plenty of people needing to get to work. They're waiting on a decision from the state and running out of time. The work is underway to finish building the Flying Lark at Grants Pass Downs. This is where, along with a restaurant, 225 gaming machines would go if the state allows them. The owner of the racetrack, including the addition of the Flying Lark, well, it's heartbreaking. is Dutch Bros founder Travis Borsma. Borsma says more than 200 people will lose their jobs as early as the end of February if the Oregon Racing Commission does not approve the application for the gaming machines. Workers like Jessica feel the opportunity here is more than a paycheck. Coming here at the Lark and with the pay and the benefits they have here, it's just I feel like that's something that I could give my kids like a better life. <laughs> The application for gambling machines is called an HHR application for historic horse racing. It's how Portland Meadows, when it was still operating, used to have gaming machines inside. Otherwise, all gaming in Oregon is under the control of the state's Native American tribes. Borsma says in the past three years, he's had no indication the Flying Lark's application would not be approved. We have met with tribes continuously. We met with political figures continuously. We had House Bill 165 that went through the last legislative session. But last October, six tribes sent a letter asking state leaders to thoroughly review state-regulated gambling. And an attorney for the Cow Creek Band of the Umpqua Tribe of Indians says when they do, the Flying Lark's application must be turned down. It is exactly what it appears to be. It is a casino. It will be unlike any other facility in the state of Oregon, owned by one person. Um, and the state constitution bars that. For now, a holding pattern as tribes push for elected officials to look at this case and the bigger picture. And we think it's time for a new look, a fresh look by the legislature at exactly uh, what Oregonians want and what is appropriate for the state in terms of the regulation of, of state gaming. And again, a lot of jobs on the line and the Oregon Racing Commission meets this Thursday, but this isn't on the agenda. It is waiting for a Department of Justice opinion on it, and it's not clear when that will come down. Tim Gordon, KGW News.